All right. Well, welcome everyone. Um, thank you for attending. This is the uh, 345th meeting of the New York Comics and Picture Story Symposium. Uh, this is a series of talks and lectures um, with comic book artists, thinkers about comics, writers about comics that has been meeting um, weekly for over a decade now. And we are, um, we're very honored tonight to have uh, Carolyn Suri as a guest. Um, she's coming to us from uh, from France, uh, so it's very late for her. So we're extra honored that she's she's decided to stay up for us. I um, when I was uh, programming um, this calendar for the symposium, Carolyn was someone that I really wanted to um, um, have on the schedule and and have present to the New York comics and podium audience because she's really an artist that as a um as an american reader of comics someone interested in art comics and expressive comics in the united states she's someone whose work is um whenever i'm lucky enough to see it um i'm always extremely drawn to it and it it um presents i think a really um perfect blend of of uh artistic inclinations that are also deeply tied to cartoon language and the history of comics um, and I, I think whenever I see her work, she does that um, in a way that I, I believe a lot of people strive for. But I see it, I see it done extremely well in her work, um, in a way that I think uh, is superior to a lot of people working in that fashion. But um, I don't see enough of Carolyn's work. It's it's um, a lot of it is um, available through uh, Le Denier Cree, a printmaking house in. Um, uh, France that um, Carolyn co-founded, but much of that work is unavailable. Uh, so I thought Carolyn was a perfect person to invite to the symposium as someone who um, I, and I know many others uh, have, have um, uh, our relationship with her work is is really wanting to see more of it and, and know more about it. So I'm very honored to, to have this opportunity to have her present. I am going to read a quick um, bio of Carolyn and then turn things over to her. Uh, what I'll say before doing that is that um, one of the um, features of the Comic Symposium is to have the audience and the uh, presenter um, interact. And, and we really do welcome audience questions and comments once Carolyn is is done presenting. So if you're unfamiliar with Zoom um, or, or you're extremely familiar with it, there's a chat function um, at the bottom of the screen. You can write a question in the chat as Carolyn is talking, and you can indicate there whether you'd like me to read your question out loud or if you'd like to go on camera and read the question yourself. But really one of the features of the symposium is a unity between presenter and um, an audience. So we, we really do encourage uh, questions from you, especially with um, a guest who, um, especially most of the people in the audience are, are, are American readers and there, there isn't a, a, a chance a lot of the time to interact with an artist like Carolyn. So I'm gonna read this bio and then kick things over to her. Um, in 1993, Carolyn Suri became co-founder with Paquito Bellino of Le Denier, of Le Denier Cree, they, produ they produced wildly beautiful silkscreen publications, books and posters, as well as the magazine Hospital Brute, and hardcore animated films uh, filled with artwork by various known and unknown Art Brute visionary artists. Carolyn also contributed the sculptured puppet animation in their films. Carolyn studied fine arts in Bordeaux. In the early 90s, she made several silkscreen portfolios, including Dog Time, Scenes d'un Cirque, and Bete Verte. She worked on a number of comic travel notebooks, such as Holidays in Blob, uh, Blobby Land. Her latest album, One Morning with Miss Pie, was in selection for the 2022 prize at Angoulême. She will speak to us tonight on the psychoanalytical path that leads to the drawing and construction of the storyboard of comics. So without further ado, I'm going to um, mute myself here and present to you Carolyn Suri. Okay. Hey Carolyn, you can you can begin whenever you like. Oh, okay, okay. Because I couldn't see uh, I, you anymore, so I was. No, just, yes, no. I just I just turned my camera off. I was off lost, so, so that, lost without you, Austin. So that you you take the spotlight. <laughs> okay. 
So, uh, so uh, thank you for the invitation and the presentation too. So I don't have to speak anymore about uh, le dernier cri. It's okay. <laughs> but um, but uh, yes. So I'm um, I'm here to speak about uh, the the way I'm I'm kind of uh, created uh, my my comics. So um, how how am I doing? So uh, I. Um, so I start with two 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 comics, uh, two two autobiographical comics. Uh, they are here. I I show you. And uh, it's um, I started with this one, Baby de Mille, and it's autobiographic comics about the the way I pray I I did uh, a baby uh, on the back of uh, my boyfriend. <laughs> Very bad things to do, and uh, and this one uh, coup tordu. It's about um, the way I of uh, the way I feel sick because uh, I I want uh, my life had to to go another way and uh, I didn't I knew it but uh, my my body knew it before I decided to do it. So um, all the time I had some problem with my neck. And uh, so I decided to do a book about this, uh, this sickness. Uh, and, uh, and all the sickness is, uh, is the, um, just the, the goal of the, the, the book. And this, the way I, um, I, um, I meet some medicine, different doctors to, to, to be um, soigné, to be, uh, they, they, care, they take care of me. Of me. Uh, and uh, it decided all the all the comics because each uh, chapter is about uh, a special therapy and it's becoming more and more strange because there is uh, seven chapters and seven doctors and uh, it's it's uh, it's the way I, I build the story it's uh, I don't uh, I don't it's not a, 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 a journal uh, a diary. It's not a diary. The way I'm doing my comics, it's all about uh, un nœud. Come on, how do you say a nœud? Um, like a string that you a needle? No, 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 not a needle. Uh, <laughs> something like this. Very difficult to a nod. To, uh, a, a nod. Yes. 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 A nod, like in French, in fact. And uh, yes, all my comics is like that. I, I've got a, a nod that I've got to take out, and I, I go in inside this the, the problem, and um, with different things like dreams, dreams that I draw, uh, doctors that I'm gonna visit, and a little piece of um, of uh, of life that I I used to live with this kind of people that were around me. And uh, it it doesn't explain, but it it uh, it showed the way to the to the end of the story. But I don't uh, I don't relate uh, all story. It's always little piece that I put together, and uh, that that drilled a special uh, a special story. Like uh, I. I I, I like to, to compare it to the roman, the roman, the, the, the work of uh, the writer in uh, literature, literature. You understand? It's difficult. <laughs> and uh, I, I, like, I like this way because I don't like di diary. It's just uh, if you draw every day your things, it's, it's nice, but um, it's not uh, the way I, I want to, to show a story. It's not my way. I really need to um, to to be focused on uh, on different little problem, and it will build all the story. So it's it's just to to say how it works. For for Baby the Mill, it was like that. There there was some chapter, but it was more simple, and because it was the first book, and then the second books, uh, Coup Tordu was more uh, construct construct. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now it's um, un matin avec Mademoiselle Latarte, which means uh, one morning with uh, Miss Latarte. 
And La Tarte is uh, Miss uh, Apple Pie, in fact. It's a very stupid name for the, the heroine. But uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, my, it, it's a fiction. It, this one is a fiction. It's not anymore, I, I can show you the cover. It's not anymore um, an autobiographic, but it is based on, an, on my life, of course. And uh, the, the fact it is a fiction helped me a lot to, um, to, uh, to, to be free, to be free to um, explore characters, in fact. And um, yes, and it, it was very fun to do, far very fun, not very fun of work, but uh, yes, it was, it was funny to explore these, um, these uh, characters. Uh, com compared to Coutordu, which are really, uh, yes, it's, it's people that I know, or it's me, it's very, uh, uh, it's not very, very uh, figurative, but quite a lot. It's my kind of drawing, but you are used to it because if you are a fan, you know this kind of <laughs> very destroy your draw drawing. <laughs> And uh, so um, in, uh, in um, Un matin avec Mademoiselle La Tarte, uh, it's, uh, it always starts, um, the chapter always starts with uh, Mademoiselle La Tarte, which is in bed with um, Psycho Jumbo, uh, her boyfriend. So each time it starts like this. And because it's uh, the beginning of the day, it's the morning and she, she say, oh, uh, again, because she's very optimistic. So it's always nice for her to, to wake up and to be, uh, to be with a psycho jumbo. But of course, um, life with a psycho jumbo is not, uh, is not so easy uh, because uh, it's a uh, psycho jumbo is, um, is uh, somebody she fall, uh, she, she, she find in a party uh, in um, Thanksgiving uh, day. Yes. I comics Un matin avec Mademoiselle Attard, one morning with Miss uh, Apple Pie. And um, yes, what am I saying? Yes, it's um, okay. So it's, um, it's all um, a fiction, but uh, about something that happened to me. And it's, um, but it's a fiction about um, a, a a part of my life uh, where I meet um, uh, um, I don't uh, the English word uh, narcissistic pervert. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, so uh, life with a narcissistic pervert is uh, quite um, uh, explosive. It's an explosive way of life. Uh, I didn't knew it. it. It was brand new for me, so I. I was very naive, like uh, Mademoiselle La Tarte, my Miss Apple Pie. And um, so uh, this kind of discovery is, um, is it, it hurts a lot, but uh, also, also it's very strange. And the way the, way the people, the, the, this guy was speaking, uh, the, the way what the, 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 his, uh, the way was um, reacting all the time was very strange for me. So I, uh, I ob observe him, observe a lot. And uh, when uh, all this story uh, was finished and I was able to take him uh, out of my life, uh, I'm lucky, I could do it. Uh, I, um, I, I realized that um, this situation so, so, so rare, not so rare, but uh, for me it was a special moment. But, uh, and uh, during all this show that I was with this guy, I, I did all this work of introspection because um, when you are with this kind of people, they, they, you, you don't know who you are, you, or you did, because they, they, they push you, they push you always all the time in your, um, in the, in a very special uh, mind, uh, not very nice, <laughs> like uh, like this, <laughs> like this. You 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 don't know uh, what to do, not to feel hurt, but um, you you are hurt, or you like this, 
<laughs> you don't know anymore who you are and you just eat some uh, white bread and butter and it's uh, very good for your health. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can do some uh, beautiful drawing <laughs> because you're really done and you just uh, want to kid yourself, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> After all, we are artists and we can uh, transform all this bad uh, feeling in our drawings. So uh, fortunately, I had this uh, solution. That's why I escaped from this uh, bad situation. And because I am a superhero in the comics, of course. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, uh, it's, I, was, I wanted to speak um, about that uh, 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 in relation with this comics, uh, Mademoiselle Latarte. I wanted to speak about this um, kind of psychanalysis uh, uh, psychoanalysis of my the drawing are like that for me. It's uh, it's kind of an, an analysis. Uh, I don't need to go to see um, a psychanalyst because uh, maybe I, I should go, but uh, I don't go. <laughs> so I'm still on my nightmare in my life. And uh, when I I do this kind of drawing, I. Uh, it's uh, generally in the morning because I do, I'm not like you, like you Austin, uh, drawing all the night. <laughs> I draw <laughs> in the morning and uh, I've got this special feeling and uh, I feel bad, very bad. And I start to draw and um, I start to draw some, uh, some air and some, some, some line uh, like this, um, lots of lines and uh, and then I can draw a, a figure, and then I, I, I can draw something else. But it's it depends of my mind and of what I'm idea are coming. And uh, like, like in psychanalysis, in fact, you you speak, and then uh, the the way you speak or the the words you you use, they, they bring you in something else. And the, the way I draw, it's like that. I draw. I don't know what I'm gonna draw because I feel bad and I, I start to, to draw some line and then, um, and then I've got an idea which is coming and I take it and I draw it. And I don't know what it will give because it's got no, no, um, no relation with, uh, with nothing, but I, I start to draw this new idea and I, I go ahead and I, I, I make a, a, a character and uh, then I draw something that's coming in my mind. And it's very funny because uh, all the time, uh, this kind of uh, automatic drawings or psychedelic drawings, I don't know if I, I, call, the, I call them like that, like psychedelic drawings, uh, bring me in my, uh, in, in, in really what I feel. And uh, it's what I feel precisely at this moment and myself, I didn't know what uh, what I was feeling. It, it's kind of, I, discover, I discover how I am. And then uh, at the end, when I finished, I have finished this kind of, of drawing, uh, I, feel, uh, I feel much better. <laughs> I feel much better because uh, it's, a, it's a bad day. I, I, I am a very, in a very bad um, condition. My life is just, uh, I don't know what it is. And then I finish this drawing and I say, okay, I did something today. <laughs> at least <laughs> I did something good because uh, at the end I like, uh, I like this drawing. And uh, the ugliest uh, they are, like this one maybe, it's, you see, it's, it's kind of blue, it's okay. Yeah, this kind of drawing and, uh, but it's this drawing that I prefer at the end. Years after I say, no, it's the, the, the ugliest they are and the, the, the way they are draw, the, the bad, the, the more automatic way they are draw, I prefer them because it's really me, in fact. I can, I, I get the feeling, I, I, really, I really go inside something. Like, uh, like, well, you know that because it's uh, like my brain is really in contact with my hand, and it's uh, there's no uh, 
there's nothing between uh, my head and my hand. It goes straight on the paper, what I'm seeking. And uh, it, that's, that's what I'm doing in my comics. And, uh, and that's what I want to, um, to give to the people. I want to give me uh, with no filter. I don't like comics. <laughs> I'm gonna have uh, lots of enemy, but anyway, I don't care. But uh, I don't love these comics with all the same characters, very well drawn and uh, and the, the nice story. Uh, I, it doesn't interest me. And in my comics, I I don't care. It's it's not clear. I don't want to be clear. <laughs> it's not. Uh, polite, uh, it's not good, uh, very good drawing, but at the end, uh, I loved, I loved it, I like very much my uh, shitty drawing. Uh, I don't know what, what can I show you? It's, yeah, it's the beginning of the, of the comics of the Mademoiselle La Tarte. And, um, yeah, it's this kind of uh, because you don't know it because it's it's not distributed in in USA, so it's this kind of things. I don't know if you see. Wow. Okay. Could so, we? I I could see. Could we see a little bit more? Could could? Yes, could we see of a course. More? I can so show you uh, this page. Wow. Yeah. It's really, it's really beautiful to see. So we're we're happy to see it. Yes, yes, yes. That's why. Uh, that's why I didn't do this. Uh, these modern things uh, on my uh, <laughs> on my computer. <laughs> I show you with my hands, and it's good to. I take that. Um, yeah, or this one, a big mess here. Mm. It's okay, not yes, to. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well. Alors, I can do good things too, <laughs> but uh, this one is not too bad. <laughs> and this page. For for this kind of um, of comics with uh, uh, lots of animals and uh, objects uh, which are some character, I was very inspired by um, I, I suppose it's Ted Jouflas. Yes, I I I just saw one comics uh, that I bought in uh, Un Regard Moderne uh, in Paris. It's a very nice uh, li library, and uh, he, he inspired me a lot. Uh, I remember this guy, uh, and he, he used to draw. Uh, I don't know if he's doing still things. Things. There's no much about him. Uh. I think he's yeah. He's someone who whose work, I at least for myself, everyone remembers it when they see it. But it's yeah. You don't. I I don't see his work as much uh, these days much. either. No, no. Can show you that. Ça va? It's okay. Yeah, so the, this kind of, the, in these comics, I, I draw like, uh, like itching, in fact. With a lot, a lot, uh, I draw with my, uh, my ink and uh, la plume. And uh, oh, I'll show you. <laughs> With this, of course, with, with that, yeah. And uh, it's like a, a little bit like itching, in fact. And uh, I like to, to draw with lots of, uh, of details. And it, it's very long, um, long drawing to do because uh, there are so much uh, details in the page. Yes. Do you do you begin working on those? Um, you you don't. 
do you, do you do a pencil phase or do you do it mostly improvisatory where you're sitting down and you're constructing the pray the the page uh, i just uh i just put some um some indication i try not to draw a lot no no i i uh i just put the, the character maybe like the way the very quick with the with the i don't i not even have a a blue pen i don't have blue pen i i i never use it because uh, i didn't do any school <laughs> so i'm not used to to do to use it but next time i would use it because it's a big problem after after to scan the, the drawings and there's always some comment uh, s'appelle crayon à papier paper paper uh, pen uh, on the on the on the paper so it's not very nice uh, but it's difficult to to work on it for for printing but uh, no i don't don't do much indication just few things and i try to to draw to draw uh, directly but it's it's difficult for comics because you need to to do some reserve for the of course for the dialogues and, and things like that but uh, yes it's 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 improvised yes i should say it's most of the uh, you can see it's improvised because yes oh, yes no but no, it's not so much improvised because i i write um, i write the text in the same time that, that i'm doing the drawing in fact i need I absolutely need the the dialogues of course uh, to to draw so uh, i do everything in the same time the the les bulles the comment s'appelle bubble the bubble no the captions the captions the, or word word balloons or captions uh, okay <laughs> yes <laughs> and uh, yes this kind of thing um also in um so yes that that was about the the wild aspect of my uh, the way i'm 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 working and um all, all, yeah, so comics, I, I've got a lot of, um, of way to work to. That's what I, I want to say. So I've got this, this kind of drawing. So the, this drawing that I do in the morning, well, sometimes it's uh, erotic, of course. <laughs> and uh, sometimes it's uh, relative to my grandmother, which is dead and uh, she's doing some food just behind me. Just behind Mademoiselle Latarte. <laughs> and uh, so I'm doing this kind of drawing and I'm doing this work of comics and I'm doing this works of cut out paper, like, uh, like the one you can see uh, behind me, this one. The, it's a big one, it's a huge one even. But uh, it's uh, my work that I'm doing with, um, with paper cut. I'm gonna show you one, okay. Uh, nice one. No, the pen. So it's uh, it just uh, this kind of things like the the Chinese. Oh no, it's not Chinese at all because Chinese hate um, symmetric. They never do some symmetric. It's it's not good for for uh, what? It's not good. <laughs> and. Um, so I'm doing this this kind of this work science uh, science uh, especially uh, uh, 2008 2010 about and I developed it a, a lot a lot a lot and I, I made a lot of books with this kind of uh, it's a book made uh, by, by uh, United Dead Artist it's a uh, yeah, from Blanquet Stéphane Blanquet is doing this edition. And so he published uh, this book, and uh, this is um, this is very good because he, it's a big um, size of books, and my, my my cut are very big. So so that was nice. He proposed me uh, this kind of uh, big uh, big things. But this kind of um, cut you, you can see them on my um, Facebook. But it's so boring to watch Facebook uh, scrolling during hours to get this one. <laughs> yeah, so um, this kind of things. And 
um, with my this kind of uh, drawing that I was uh, that I show you, this uh, automatic or psychedelic drawings. I'm doing uh, I'm doing this uh, this cut too because uh, it's in, it, in, it's they inspire me a lot to for my work of cut because I consider this this work of cut out uh, paper like uh, very different from the from the drawing because uh, this kind of big one because they are they are they are quite big they they are, they are uh, uh, 70 centimeters on 50 centimeters, this one. And, um, but it's kind of sculpture, in fact. It's not the same work as drawing because the idea, I find them in the drawing and then I can, I can figure something like a sculpture in, with this kind of um, paper cut. And uh, the symmetry make them like totemic. Uh, figure and it changed totally the meanings of the of the art it's something it's really kind it's it's kind of a really uh, something that i can show in galleries and um, and it it works like that um, and it's um, what uh, what is this it's the drawing is um, really the spirit it's, Totally, um, for me, it's the the link uh, with the spirit, and uh, this uh, is more like exterior of me. It's it, it's really art, in fact. <laughs> it's the end of art. <laughs> it's the the final product <laughs> because it's a uh, it's a kind of artisanal work, uh, like an artisan. I like to do it a lot because I spend a lot of hour on it. It's, uh, you've got the special work to do and uh, it's, it's different. So yes, my, my heart is very, um, I do a lot of different things uh, because I don't like to, to do only comics. I can't, I can't do only comics. It's uh, impossible for me. Um, I like to do different things. I like to do some modelage, modeling with, uh, with um, La Terre, with, um, uh, how Argile. With the argile, no, uh, I'm do some molding, well, de la terre. Um, with clay. With clay. With clay. That's it. <laughs> you, there's there's someone watching Tatiana who's who's on everything. She she oh, yes yes she, she understand me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's just a bit quicker than me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I'm doing this and uh, I'm doing this kind of. Um, and I'm doing of the, this doll. I'm doing a lot of kind of, uh, say, I call them a sculpture, a soft uh, sculpture. And uh, I've got an exhibition in Paris right now in uh, Le Baron Rouge, it's a bar. <laughs> and uh, I show my uh, soft, uh, soft uh, sculpture in, the, is, in this bar. Um, and uh, so it's, I paint, I paint some, um, some fabric. I do some painting on some fabric, and then I, I cut and I, I, I do it on my machine. I coup, I, I needle it with my machine, and then I, uh, I stuff it, and it make a, something like uh, okay, like this kind of things. You see, it's uh, it's volume. This one is a small one and very simple one, but I do much bigger ones and uh, on, totally paint with a full color. This is just blue and, and red, but it's, I, I made it a long time ago, this one. The, the almost new one are in this uh, exhibition. Okay, so yes, I need to change all the time uh, the way um, I want to express myself. Mm. And um, about this subject, uh, I'm doing some books. So you you was uh, looking for some books, or some new books of me. <laughs> so I've got this one. It's a it's a Belgian gallery who edit it for an exhibition, and it's my uh, drawing. In fact, it's the the psychedelic drawing that I was speaking about, and uh, they are here in the in this book called. Uh, 
bigorno, bigorno, now bigorno, uh, because in French bigorno is a is a little um, uh, sea um, sea fr fruit of the sea, seafood, seafood. You can eat it. It's a little uh, snare, bigorno. <laughs> But it's perfect with this drawing, which are quite gore, in fact. It's, um, it's always in relation with the, um, the, the pervert narcissistic, the narcissistic pervert uh, period. This one. Someone in the chat, uh, Julian, uh, asked us if you can hold the images, if you can hold the pages still for a second. Uh, when, when you're showing them so that they can stay in focus, just so that everyone who's dying to see them can see them just a bit better. Yes, that's that's much better. It's okay. So the, this one, they are, they, I put them in color with uh, Photoshop, like, uh, like a watercolor, because I, I used to do some watercolor. And uh, I find uh, Photoshop, uh, with Photoshop, you can uh, Im imitate a lot, uh, uh, very well, uh, watercolor. It's, uh, it's very cool for that. Uh, very, uh, you can make really transparent color. And I like it. To, I like to do it. it it's kind of, the, the work is really like, uh, like to paint, really. It's uh, the same kind of sensation is very strange, but uh, it works. Yeah, so um, I made this book uh, about with this, um, the, the, the spirit of um, drawings. I've got another one called uh, La Manteuse, The Liar. Here, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of, the, the cover is like this. It's, uh, it's a six screen cover. And uh, inside the book, Ah, it's a big, big cover, which is go inside here. And uh, here are other drawings from another period. Okay. So, yeah, I, I consider all these drawings very, um, yes, it's, it's um, very an, an instantané, uh, instant of uh, of my feeling, and uh, I can I can remember all the feeling I had with this uh, this kind of things. Of or, or sometimes no, because it's very uh, <laughs> complicated. <laughs> um, I don't know what can I say. Um, I was speaking about the, my different techniques and uh, about the edition, of course. Because uh, edition for me is very important. It all my uh, all my artist life. I uh, I always uh, made some edition because uh, I uh, I'm a drawer, and uh, the drawing. Uh, of, uh, when I started, uh, it was very difficult to exhibit drawings. It was not at all considered. Now nowadays, it's not at all the same. The drawings are very high and. Uh, it's it's okay to to exhibit some drawing, but uh, at that time uh, in the eighties or nineties, it it was difficult to 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 do an exhibition of drawing in front, uh, and uh, so I I had the opportunity to do some um, six screen books, six screen portfolio, and uh, I, I found uh, I found it was the very good way to to show the work and to to sell not for expensive uh, to, to, the, to the friends and to the people who like uh, that. And uh, that's why I, um, we met with Paquito Bolino uh, from Le Dernier Cri and uh, that was uh, really the, uh, <laughs> uh, the, really the, the, yeah, we stick together <laughs> with, with all this, uh, this story of books, music and, uh, we we were so involved in the underground scene uh, that uh, that was a great moment when we we met together because it was uh, so so rich so rich to 
uh, and uh, so powerful because he's got uh, he's very powerful Paquito <laughs> and me I was very uh, I'm a big worker <laughs> so I made a lot of books <laughs> day and night <laughs> Sunday uh, Saturday uh, holidays <laughs> all the time uh, yes so books 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 and uh, um, and uh, now uh, I've got, uh, now, yes, for the moment, I still have my, uh, my studio in Marseille and I still doing and uh, editing some book. And um, yeah, that, uh, that's the, the point of, uh, of my, my life, <laughs> the books. Um, and um, and uh, to, and of course the, the story, the story uh, that I, but it's always, I, I, I must admit, it's always a kind of autobiographical story, but uh, in the future, I want to, I want to do more fiction. Wow. Okay, that's it. <laughs> you can ask some questions. <laughs> well, that's, it was wonderful, Carolyn. And I, yeah, I have a lot of, um, questions that I've I've noted down um here to ask you and that was it was wonderful to hear and and to and especially to see to see the work that you have there um mm -hmm. there's already some questions in the chat I'm, I'm going to get to the first one uh after I ask my first question but I encourage anyone who who had questions about anything that that Caroline showed to to you can ask your your you can put your question in the chat now or just make an indication for me to to call on you. I, one of the things that I wanted to maybe start off by asking was, um, you mentioned, um, you know, kind of working in, 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 uh, in w with, with some indication, but, but working from, from your thoughts and, 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 and working somewhat improvisatory. Um, I wonder, it, it made me wonder that all your, all the work I've seen of you is, it has representation of figures and it always does come out as, as characters, a, even if you are improvising as you go. And so I'm wondering if if you've ever um, drifted into, if if your work is coming forth in this way, and it's it's from um, a, a psychoanalytic kind of motivation, um, if you've ever thought of it, if 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 what why why it's usually phrased as characters, what about characters are important in the way that you work, it seems that they're it's they're they're the core of what you do, drawing drawing characters. Um, uh, you mean uh, I I've got some strong character? You mean or that you yeah. can recognize during all the? Yeah, no, it's always very strong characters, and I I just I'm interested in if you're if you're working from from your your thoughts and emotions um that you avoid abstraction you you avoid and you're ah. you were saying that you're you know um you're not so interested in things being clear uh, yes that's unclear in you fact like, <laughs> but 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 you the, you're you still do work as you 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 do make definable yes. figures and everything and yes, i they yes, are yes. they're extremely strong but i'm i'm yes. curious as to as to how your process comes out in that way, or, or what about characters are <laughs> are essential to you? Yes, it's true. But you, you, uh, yeah, I understand your question because <laughs> I say something and I do the contrary. Yes, um, of uh, of what I'm saying. Yes, I see, and uh, especially when uh, I know. I, uh, I, I I know your your work, and you are much more in the abstractive. <laughs> <laughs> than me, in fact. Yes, 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 it's true. I exaggerate. Um, what I wanted to say, uh, it's, uh, I don't know, yes. Yes, it's true, you're, you're, you're right. Uh, uh, I use my, uh, my character are very, uh, you can recognize them from pages to pages, it's true. From the, the beginning to the end of the comics, uh, you can recognize her, it's, it's true, it's true. Uh, and uh, yes, I want. Uh, um, it's maybe, but maybe it's not that that I wanted to say. Maybe it's the it's the the fact that I, I draw I draw the character, but uh, like like I'm 
so a lot of time I'm doing some um, what I say kind of mistake because I drew I drew uh, I draw um, straight on the paper for my comics and uh, sometimes I do some mistake and there are some error and um, it's not perfect maybe it's it's that that I wanted to say it's uh, the drawing are not perfect and it's uh, sometimes very um, uh, what I say it's it's not well done. It's not well done, but and uh, I think that the, the fact it's not well done, it's more lifey. In fact, that's what I wanted to to, to mean. It's not that I, I I repeat the character, but it's not so so perfect uh, uh, because I uh, re to repeat a character on a uh, hundred uh, pages, it's uh, it's it's boring. <laughs> in a way <laughs> and uh, so uh, yeah sometimes uh, I I draw it very uh, very sh not shitty but it's it's uh, it's very um, not so well 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 drawn in fact but and I like it I like it it's not very good and I, I think it's more lifey <laughs> No, I agree. It is it is boring to draw the character the same over and over again. And I think the only the only thing stopping someone from not working that way is to is to just choose to, you know. And it's I I'm so, I, I think many of the cartoonists that I connect with throw that rule out very naturally. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, 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 of course. I'm going to mm -hmm. read a question from uh, Generoso, and he says, uh, "Ciao, Carolyn. Your work is beautiful." You said that for your books that you normally do not pencil sketches before you ink, but do you compose the words for your dialogue bubbles before you add them to the page? Or are they also improvised while you draw? That's, I no, think, no. a really good question. Yes, yes, yes. No, I, I uh, no, no, uh, I work, I work a lot on the, on the text. Yes. I work a lot for, for the text to be very simple, the more simple as possible. And, um, and I always uh, I write I write the text, and I try I try not to repeat me in the drawing. Uh, it's always my uh, the my condition for working. I, um, I I I write something, and the drawing is a complement of the writing. It's not it it doesn't redo the text. I, I don't like it. I like when it's totally different, not totally different, but uh, the the text uh, add add something. The text add something, or the drawing add something to the text. It's uh, it's not a repetition. So um, and uh, no no I work I work a lot to the, the the text. In contrary of the of the drawing are very a lot work a lot, but uh, more. Um, more, um, I know what I'm gonna draw, of course, because I made the synopsis and I, I work, I really work on the pages. I know, I, I build my pages. I know what I'm gonna build on these pages, but I, I draw very light, uh, just, uh, I put one character here, when, but I don't draw a lot, but I know precisely what will be in each, uh, case yes because i i like when the pages is very uh, con i i construct my pages mm. thank you for that question general so i'm going to okay. ask um or i'm going to ask the question from tatiana tatiana do you want to um say this question out loud or do you want me to read it sure i can quickly um thank you so much for showing your work it sounds like you work very hard and constantly i wonder are you always trying to figure something out, either how to express your inner emotion or how to figure out a problem? Or do you, do you feel something that's pushing you, always trying to figure out how to do something? Um, I, most, mostly, uh, especially in the drawings I show you, uh, these automatic or psychedelic drawings, I, uh, no, I, I uh, I try to take out. Uh, I 
I thought, yeah, I'm kind of, uh, at this moment, I'm kind of focused on the problem, but, and uh, this, uh, this drawing helped me to take out, uh, to take out my, uh, I don't know, my, uh, my bad feeling. <laughs> and my bad feeling uh, at the end, uh, I think, may, make an uh, interesting drawing. <laughs> And uh, sometimes very bad drawer, but it's helped me to find ideas that, that I'm going to use in my cutout paper and in my comics. <laughs> Thank you for that question, Tatiana. Uh, I'm going to read a question from Vanessa. She says, uh, the work you showed this evening in your books is very beautiful. When you have an exhibition, do you make different work than what you make for your books? Do you consider the work that you show in a gallery as separate from the drawings uh, you do in your editions? Um, yes, it's it's quite rare that I uh, exhibit my um, my comics. In fact, um, mostly I, I uh, exhibit my drawings, the drawings that I show you, the, the big ones. Uh, this kind of, of drawings, I, I exhibit them, but uh, the, the the comics it's uh, it's quite uh, it's quite uh, rare. I I don't do it so much. Uh, the the past year I uh, I I, uh, I used to work with um, with uh, Ameline Ludovic, which uh, I am working with uh, in uh, in my studio in her studio in Marseille, and. Um, we used to do some uh, special exhibition. It's more installation, and we we work on installation. And uh, for this, uh, I was invited in um, in festival, in comics festival, like in Ljubljana or in a festival in Switzerland, uh, Lucerne, say uh, Fumetto, international uh, comics festival, Fumetto, very nice festival. And for this. Um, for this uh, exhibition, they asked me. Uh, we made some installation that that uh, and that is the condition to show uh, to show my um, my pages of comics because um, and uh, and we we built a very special uh, installation for for the comics, like uh, the people go in the the room and they were really inside. Uh, the pages <laughs> in in Fumetto, uh, we made a, a, a tapestry. Tapestry, so the comics was really huge. All the pages were huge and and stick on the wall. It was uh, all over, all over. It was like um, it was in the the world of the of Coutardu, the my comics, my green comics. Yeah, I made a big exhibition with with this one. And all the um, all the pages were uh, stick, uh, but in, in very uh, huge, huge, huge. I I uh, I grand I um, oversized them to to stick them on the wall. And uh, and for the Mademoiselle Lata, there was an exhibition with a lot of projection of the cutout paper because uh, in Mademoiselle Lata, um, there's a lot of pages uh, with cut. In fact. Oh, yeah. It's another part of the of this book. Uh, it's the Joker. The Joker uh, at the end of each uh, chapter. Uh, the Joker helps uh, helps uh, Mrs. Uh, Apple Pie uh, in uh, his problem with um, Psycho Jumbo, and uh, she she take a, a playing card and she asks for. Um, for her help, and uh, the Joker is supposed to help her, but uh, in fact, it it they does they doesn't help her because uh, nobody can help her <laughs> except herself. And they, they are all they are all the Joker are crazy. In fact, <laughs> so they are uh, uh, in the explosive situation, uh, like all the books, uh, Mademoiselle La Tarte. It's um, it's all the book, uh, uh, all the people uh, she, she met are crazy. So the, the Joker too. So yes, uh, I was speaking about the cutout paper in the exhibition. And uh, 
uh, with Ameline Nivovic, which uh, we made the scenography. Uh, we we put um, we put some uh, retro projector. You understand retro projector? Yes. And uh, there was this huge uh, cutout uh, on the on the wall of the of the the room, and. Uh, there was some um, soft, uh, soft doll too, of a soft uh, sculpture, which uh, represent um, Miss uh, Apple Pie and Psycho Jumbo. They were in volume. In fact, it was kind of sculpture with projection of, on them. Well, it was really uh, an installation. And some kind of Marcel Duchamp, étant um, donné, you, you, you know this piece, Etant Donné, from Marcel Duchamp? It's kind of a conceptual, uh, conceptual room he made. And uh, we redo it uh, for uh, Mademoiselle Latarte. Yes, it's, uh, it was uh, an idea of Amelie Ludovic uh, to, 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 to make you enter in this exhibition and you, you was really in the comics, so it, it was, kind of crazy exhibition. <laughs> so the, yes, that's the, the idea. Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't miss of idea. <laughs> Thank you for that question, Vanessa. I'm going to read a question from uh, Floyd Tangman. And he says, um, what does the underground mean to you? That's actually something I wanted to ask you as well, because we have a, in this, in, in the US we have for comics, underground means something to us and maybe it means something different in the underground that you've participated in and he also asks do you consider yourself to be an autobiographical cartoonist automatic art making as a means to circumnavigate uh, the self also do you believe in truth so pretty okay. the big questions mm -hmm. yes okay uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I believe in truth, <laughs> and I, I I thought that everybody was like me, but uh, no, it's not true. <laughs> but me, I kind of naive. I'm very naive person. I'm a kind of brutal person too, <laughs> like folk art. Folk art. <laughs> I'm a yeah. I'm kind of folk art uh, artist. Uh, not 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 at all. In fact, because uh, I'm not a folk art artist, but uh, I'm a brutal artist, underground artist. <laughs> um, because uh, I don't follow. Uh, uh, I'm coming. I'm really coming from uh, a popular. Uh, uh, comment s'appelle family. Yeah, popular family. <laughs> uh, no, no culture, no culture family. And uh, I, I made my own culture. And uh, my own culture was uh, the folk art. I, I love folk art and expressionist uh, um, German people from the, from the 19th century. And uh, of course, uh, like a uh, lot of people uh, who were very involved in the 80s and the uh, post-punk uh, culture. Uh, and um, of course, uh, I'm very influenced by all this music, uh, the no New York <laughs> music, uh, all, the, all these bands and all this scene, uh, American, French, and... Uh, and uh, I, I really, I really work in in this underground, because uh, and uh, because in in Bordeaux, I uh, I was in Bordeaux during eight years, and uh, I met all these people who were very involved in the, in a, in a review uh, called uh, Hello Happy Taxpayer, and this review was uh, about uh, experimental music a lot of experimental music from the USA and uh, from uh, uh, activism, uh, uh, experimental, uh, comment s'appelle, uh, art performance from uh, Germany, Austria, and uh, all these kind of things, very underground. 
And, uh, see, and that's how we met with Paquito Bolino. And we, we met with Danny Cree. Uh, he was involved in this uh, review too, Hello Happy Taxpayer. We were working for the same review. All, all my friends. We, I was playing in, in a band with uh, the guy who was writing uh, chronics about bands in this review. So <laughs> that is the, the family, the underground family in Bordeaux very involved in the music and uh, and uh, and the drawings and uh, all these uh, Charles Burns um, raw, raw magazine uh, and uh, juxtapose or juxtapose or it's, it's kind of a <laughs> little bit <laughs> deviant but uh, but uh, yes uh, Gary Panther and all these things. And uh, yes, I, so I consider I'm coming from the underground, yeah, for sure. Now, am I in the underground? I don't know. The underground is uh, is now mainstream. Uh, everybody is drawing like me. <laughs> uh, some people uh, teach teach uh, teach my heart. Uh, me, uh, nobody asked me to be a teacher. Uh, I try to be a teacher, but nobody wants me. So I still don't have any work in, uh, in the, <laughs> this kind of <laughs> institute. Um, it's very strange, but it's like that. Uh, I'm too uh, I'm too wild, maybe. Still, <laughs> uh, yes, for sure. So I suppose I'm still in the room. I have a couple of follow up questions to that. When you you start off by saying you do believe in truth you thought other people did but they don't i i sometimes I, I i have the same feeling and i was wondering what what do you what do you mean by that what what do you mean that other people that that you were naive and that other people don't oh it's uh, it, uh, it's just a bad experiment that i had uh, during these last uh, years in fact <laughs> no it's about uh, about uh, not to be to tell the yeah I I think I, uh, I I'm gonna speak for me uh, I um, I of course it's 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 very difficult to um, for the people I know to be uh, my uh, it's difficult to be my friend yes kind of because uh, you've got a lots of chance to be in a book because you will be a character of my book. So yes, I am an autobiographic uh, <laughs> drawer. And uh, I suppose it can be not very nice to, to, to see yourself in my book um, drawing like um, a, a cake, uh, comment ça s'appelle? Baba au rhum, you, you, you know this cake, Baba au rhum? It's a, it's a cake full of rhum, you know? It's a, Yes, you see it. <laughs> and uh, the girl that I draw in, in, uh, in Mademoiselle La Tarte, <laughs> I show you. And uh, I draw her like, with uh, this kind of cake, uh, really, really drunk, <laughs> because it is full of rum, of course. It's a, it's a delicious cake, but uh, totally drunk. <laughs> and I draw, I draw it, I draw. Uh, I drew her like that, uh, and she was she was not very happy when she she saw that it's this one. Okay. <laughs> uh, you see this little Baba of Roma. Okay. Okay. So it's a it's a character, <laughs> and she was not happy, but um, it's like that. Uh, it's like uh, it's it, and but it's it's a it's a problem because I had I had some not I didn't have some problem but a little bit because uh, when you you speak about yourself and um, the, of course the people around you uh, of course you you are very fragile because you can be attacked and it's it's kind of normal because the people are not happy. Oh, they are very happy, or they are not very happy. But um, and uh, some people attack me because uh, they, they say it was not polite. It was not something to do to draw the other one. 
but I consider that comics is becoming something like uh, literature, literature. And uh, in literature, the people speak about uh, their life and uh, about the people that are around. And why, why we can't do it by drawing with the, with the comic? Is comic is still something to this, for distraction? No, I'm not sure of that. I, I, I don't want to, to hear about that. And I, uh, I consider I, I can, I'm a hollow to, to speak about, uh, to, to, draw, um, to draw people around me because it's not, uh, it's not anymore uh, um, real life. It's, it's becoming some fiction, it's, enfin, not some fiction, but it's becoming art. And there's a big difference in um, the way I speak about the people and life. I don't know if I made a good explanation. <laughs> you understood? No, yes, yes. No, that's yes. very interesting to hear. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of, I did want to maybe just follow up on one part of that where, um, and it also relates to the idea of, of being an underground artist and, and things like that. And you're, you're talking about this idea that to you, comics, are, there can be literature. So of course, there, there can be themes of talking about expressing how you really feel. And I think um, readers in the US have an idea of, um, I think we what work we see from Europe, I think we we tend to lump it all in as being having this sophistication, you know, being a, even the most, even work from probably very commercial publishing houses in France, we think of it as less commercial than our most commercial work. And you're mentioning the peers that you met and I'm wondering if there's and that, that you began making work with and, and particularly publishing these these silkscreen books. And I'm wondering if there's a criticism from your peers in Europe of, you know, you mentioned at one point that you don't, you know, this idea of of comics having a degree of clarity and, and being somewhat critical of that. And there there is some work from Europe that I think has even more clarity and more technical atmosphere than than even our most sophisticated work here. So there's a real kind of kind of European professionalism that I wonder if maybe you and your peers have a criticism of or rejection of if there's a schism between between the areas that you publish in and, and maybe a more um, mainstream version of, of European cartooning. Yes, I'm uh, speaking about the mainstream, of course. I'm a little more ma mainstream because, of course, even in France, there's a lot of, there's a scene, uh, under, uh, underground scene. I don't know if it's, yes, it's underground because uh, we call it uh, in France uh, independent, independent, yeah. And um, it, uh, the, the independent scene in France is very developed, it's, it's very huge. Uh, did, did you go uh, in uh, Angoulême? Uh, Bill uh, know, knows it uh, <laughs> because uh, he's, uh, he, he, he come to, to visit us. Uh, and uh, in Angoulême, it's crazy. It's, it's huge. It's, uh, the, the, the scene, uh, the, um, the independent scene is huge. And uh, of course, uh, uh, they, in the, in, you find some editor and some, um, some artists that do some very abstract uh, comics too. And they, they um, comment ça s'appelle? Il, um, il, they say they, they, they try a lot of uh, new things. Enfin, of course, of course, there, there's, there's much more abstract comic than mine, um, for sure. Like, uh, like I, uh, I've got this name, but um, Cola Bertoyas. Cola Bertoyas, uh, he, live in, he lives in Lyon in France, and he's got the really, um, it's not uh, totally abstract, but it's kind of, um, <laughs> Kind of is um, the ways the the drawings are very um, deconstructive, uh, but very constructive too. But very deconstructive and it's, uh, very interesting. You should uh, you should visit. Um, uh, you should see his drawing. It's Cola Bertoyas. I like it very much. And uh, some some other like uh, Leo Leo Kievre too is doing a beautiful job. Uh, well, yes, it's true. I'm I'm not very good speaking about my work. It's very difficult to speak about your work 
I prefer when it's a friend of me who is speaking about the comics he just read, because most of the time I forgot uh, half of the story because I, I did it so much. And after a few years, I, uh, I'm so, um, for me, it's done uh, in a way. And uh, I'm not so, so stick to this story. Mm. So it's very strange to, to be uh, again in the way you, you draw and uh, wow. <laughs> it's not so easy <laughs> well we but we're grateful for you taking the time to talk about it now and it's yeah yes. it's of course not easy and especially it's it it's also very late over there no, it's okay. so i'll just it's okay. i'll just ask you one more question okay. <laughs> i'll just ask you one more question yes, if I can, okay. because i have you here with pleasure thank you uh, with pleasure Austin. <laughs> um you know, you were talking about <laughs> this feeling of of waking up and working in the morning and and um, responding to, you know, you were saying that you sometimes feel bad in the morning and then you start working on a piece of art and there's there's no matter what has happened in the day, there's this triumph of making a work of art and you've done that and that's that's a, a good thing and that's that that sometimes changes the feelings of the day. And I'm wondering if that's uh, you've you've been making art for for a good majority of your life. And I'm wondering what your feelings about art making were when you began, uh, if they were similar to that, if you've always had that feeling of, of a, a triumph of making art over, that, 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 it, that it changes your feelings, that it comes from your feelings, but it also changes them. I'm wondering how that's changed from, from the beginning of, of when you started making work to now. Oh, okay. Um, I was, um... Yeah, I start. Uh, um, I I met the, the fine art school in Bordeaux, and uh, I finished. I had my uh, degree, and uh, I almost didn't dare to to draw something from imagination. I was doing a work totally different. That's just the last year that I that I dare to imagine something. That was very strange. I did. I was not at all confident, and I was a very bad drawer. So I'm kind of very bad artist <laughs> during all my fine art school, <laughs> uh, and they, they just give me the the degree and they say, "Okay, good luck." <laughs> and uh, I, but the the, the thing is. Uh, I don't care about that because it's not, uh, I'm, I'm not a good drawer at, at the beginning. Of course, now I learn and I, I draw a lot. So I, I, I'm, 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 it's better now what I'm doing, but um, it's not the point with me. Uh, the, the thing is uh, I wanted to, to do it. I need to do it. I need to do it, that's it. I need to do it and I need to do it since uh, I know that since I'm, since, uh, since I'm a teenager. Uh, and I had to choose what I had to do uh, when I would be an adult at school. I had to choose something to learn. And I say, okay, I want to, to do something with my hands. I want to, to do some decoration or something like that. Something I, I need my brain and my, my hand to do something. And that's it. And uh, I'm still in the same uh, feeling. I need to do it. I don't know why, but I, I absolutely need to do these things. And uh, I was a very bad, I, I repeat, I, a very bad drawer. It was, but in this bad drawing, there was, there was uh, me. The, uh, there was me. It was not an imitation of uh, Japanese comics or of French, uh, French, uh, French comics. No, it was my drawings, not good, but uh, it was my stuff. Yeah, and uh, it's it uh, it's my way to do it since uh, all these years. It's my drawings. Of of course, I got some inspiration, like uh, everybody. Uh, when you you are fan of Marbeilleur, I try to do some Marbeilleur. It's so difficult. <laughs> Well, I've got I've got a, a seal screen just in front of me. Um, uh, don't, so um, 
yes, of course. So I've got some influence, uh, and you can feel it in some some drawings I'm doing. But mostly, it's um, really uh, really my stuff, and uh, they are what they are. But um, they they communicate because uh, at the beginning I I, I made these comics. Uh, I made this drawing and I see screen them to, to sell to sell them to, to my friend or some people. And uh, I sold everything. I sold all my stuff because they are very sensitive, I think. It's uh, the point. It's, uh, uh, it, and it communicates. I, I need to communicate. Mm. Because, of course, when you are an, an artist and you, you put some, uh, some ink on the paper, you, I, I need to show up. To show my my drawing and uh, the first person I, I show my drawing it's my mother it, at the beginning <laughs> I was so proud to to show her that I was uh, doing some um, some art uh, so, so I'm really proud of it and I wanted her to to see uh, maybe I was doing them for her mm, it's possible <laughs> And uh, no, no, I won't cry. It's okay. <laughs> it's not sad. It's uh, it's uh, it's like that. Yes, I need to to show. I need to show my my drawing. I'm I'm a kind of uh, exhibitionist. Yeah, of course I am an exhibitionist because uh, there's a lot of uh, sexual things in my drawings, and uh, I show. I try to show everything without. Um, laying myself to myself. And also I wanted to say something else about the sex. Yes, about, uh, yes. And uh, uh, one of my first uh, edition is about uh, sex because I, uh, it interests me a lot. And uh, I wanted to show that a uh, woman uh, um, could show, could um, show the, their feeling about, uh, about sex. And uh, I, I thought there was not enough uh, a drawing of women about this uh, subject. And uh, that was always my, my subject. Yes, all, all, my, uh, all my work, uh, all these years, I uh, always uh, treat of, uh, of this. Mm. <laughs> well, thank you. That was, that's a great, that response was a, I think that's a great place to to end it. And we 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 thank you for for sharing this work for us and 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 showing showing it all to us and and taking the time. And and thanks to everyone um who asked questions. And um we will um um we the symposium is going to take a break next week. We will come back um on the 29th with Christian Costello. Uh, doing a presentation. But thank you again so much, Carolyn. And um, this will be uh, this talk will be available on YouTube um, by by either today or yes. tomorrow. But thank you so much for for showing the work and for for staying up and and for all the things you said. We're, we're very grateful. Uh, thank you for inv your invitation. It was very uh, I'm proud to do it and uh, very happy to 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 see you. Yes. <laughs> At least. Me too. <laughs> okay. See you in uh, Angoulême, maybe. <laughs> oh, I hope. That would be great. <laughs> yes. Um, you should come. <laughs> well, uh, well, thank you again, Carolyn. And, and thanks yes. to everyone who, who asked questions. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. That okay. was a pleasure Good. to speak. Bye. But, uh, thank you. Very difficult, but it's okay. <laughs> no, you did, you did amazing. You did amazing. <laughs> yes. Okay. It was life fiat, at, at least. <laughs> oh no, it was it was it was perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>